Hi guys, welcome to Monitoring and Evaluation Made Simple. I'm your host, Coach Alexander. I'm so happy that you're here with me today because I want to introduce you to a seven-part series we're going to be running from Friday all the way up to, I think, Wednesday. This is on how to develop a monitoring and evaluation plan. I've been getting a lot of questions from different people on how do you do this step by step. So I just thought of giving you this free gift, this free training on how we are going to do it. So now what are we going to learn in this seven part series? Okay, so the first thing you're going to learn is that you're going to first learn how to identify program goals and objectives. So a lot of times, when we are defining these things, it's not done the right way. So I'm going to show you how it should be done so that as you begin to set this M&D plan document, it is done the right way from the start. Then how do you define indicators? That's the next thing we're going to look at. I've done quite a number of videos on key performance indicators, but it's always a question I get on my inbox, how do you define these indicators? So I want to run you through the steps on how these indicators are defined. And then as soon as we are done with that, we're going to look at the next part, which is define data collection methods and timelines, okay? Which is very important because as you all know, data collection is all about getting information that will feed into the indicators. Then another thing we need to look at is identify M&D roles and responsibilities, okay? Also very important, and it's also critical in the M&D plan because you cannot have one person doing everything. You have to uh, define the roles, the responsibilities to everybody. Then create an analysis plan and reporting templates. Very important too. So that's what we're going to look at in the next seven days starting from Friday. Then also plan for dissemination and donor reporting. And finally, setting up the budget. I feel that setting up the budget is really critical because it is all it all comes down to how you budget and how you define the how, the way you're going to use these resources to find a, to to do this all these activities to do with monitoring and evaluation. So I sure hope you're going to be here on Friday, starting Friday all the way up to next week. We'll be looking at the monitoring and evaluation plan development step by step. But I also want to let you know that on our Facebook page, we have the what is known as the M&D Marathon. You know, we're going to be uploading all the videos that we've ever done on monitoring and evaluation on Facebook. So if you want to look at the videos from there, please log into the Facebook account and look at all the videos, watch all the videos that we've ever done so that you know the genesis of M&D Made Simple. Okay. There's also another thing I've developed, we've developed, and it's called Monitoring and Evaluation Course Prestige. And let me tell you, this is the most exciting thing this year that we've developed and I won't spill the beans right now, but all I'm saying is that next week on Saturday, we'll be having an online webinar and I sure hope you'll be there to listen up on all the trainings that we have available to you, okay? So see you on Friday 15th, May 2020. Until we meet again, see you on the other side. Bye.